YouTube, DJ and Johnny. Back, back again. again. That's right. And we're drinking Mo Beer. This time, we got a big old bomber. Sly Fox Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. Out of Pottstown, PA. And we got their what? Oh, we got their 113 Pale Ale. That's Route 113, which is a highway up in Pennsylvania. I picked this up when I was on a trip coming back from New Jersey through Pennsylvania. So, of course, I stopped at the beer store. Don't you know? What's new? Got to do it. Got to do it. Mm-hmm. This one is, uh, what is this one? Shit, I don't even know. We drank so many fucking beers lately. It's an American Pale Ale. 7% alcohol by volume and it's supposed to be 113 IBUs. I think that goes with the route number. Exactly. They're using three Pretty clever out there, you sly foxes. They're sly fox. I tell ya. Three types of hops. I don't know how many kind of malts in there because I didn't write it down on my geek info sheet. But these guys, what, did we tell them instead of Pottstown, PA? I said Pottstown. Pottstown. So I say... You want to pop it open? Right. Why don't you do it? You got the holder. That's right. Opener. I know. We don't have the bottle popper. We're giving the bottle popper a break. I'm going to have to probably order another one. Oh, shit. Oh, we might have to order another one of these, too. That's right. This one you got to be a little more careful with. But when you get it, it's done. Okay, yep. we got a little oxidation on there. Ooh, nice. And we got a little bit of fuzz coming out of there. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Plenty. We know this is plenty carbonated. It's a live beer. When you see your cat crowns look like that, guys, that means the oxygen scavenger is working on them. That's what's in the top of those crowns when they're that stippled sort of look. So, let's get this biatch in the bottle. Usually it's called rust on other things. Shh. Rock station. Rock station scavenging. Oh, nice. Dates right on the front of the bottle. You know if it's fresh or not. And you know, yes, I should or no, I shouldn't drink it. <laughs> so, let's have at it. Ah. <sighs> Nice and cloudy, dark amber color. You can see here we got about a finger and a half of really tight khaki bubbles, a little rocky up the top when you swirl it. I would say it's a little lighter in amber as compared Is to it? like the oaked uh, from Hoppy Big Monster. A little lighter than that. Yeah, this, one, this one's cloudy though. It's cloudy. You can see lots of yummies floating around in it. When you swirl it, you get some alcohol legs. Good some, glass lacing too. Yeah, you got good glass hmm. lacing. Now, I've read a lot of good things about Sly Fox. They're pretty well rated and all that good stuff. Got some pine, pineapple, citrus. Some grassy hops in there. I'm going to have to tr taste this to see what A little it bit of citrus. <laughs> He's already tasted it. You know what Johnny's all about. He's about stunt drinking today. Mm. That's delish. Nice. That is damn good. Piney. Wow, mm -hmm. I don't I don't feel the you're not sneezing. No, I'm so not it doesn't have those. It hops doesn't in have it. my allergic allergy hops in there mm. yet. It's got a good balance. It's a good East Coast IPA. I'd say it's 113 IBUs, but I think it's pretty balanced. It's got a nice dry finish to it. Medium, hmm. I'd say medium body full, medium yeah. body, not medium thin. Nope, definitely not thin. Really mm. easy to drink. It's seven percent, which means that means session beer, no doubt. Maybe not for you guys out there, but when you reach a drunk enough level, 7% becomes session beer for you. And this is medicine. That's right. We've been told that Johnny acts a little strange sometimes in stun drinker mode, so he needs to be medicated. So we've got the bomber out to increase his dose this time instead of a 12 ounce. <laughs> so, let's see if I you can get it. Look. You didn't look this time? No. What grade do you think rate beer gives this one? 97? No, a little lower. It's in the 90s. 94. Nope. 92. Yes. Woo! 92. <clears throat> and Beer Advocate gives it. That's a, uh, it could be either close or far apart. 82. Yes. Damn. Dead on. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it doesn't always seem like they're like 10, 10 points exactly. So there, that tells me there's something in their metric differ that gives it that 10 point swing. And I believe a little while back, Beer Advocate had tightened up their grade. So, 92 for rate beer, 82 for beer advocate. Mm, I think it's an A- minus beer. It tastes good. Um, I'm going to give it like a 90, just the area at the bottom of the A- minus scale. Um, it, this was pretty cheap for the bomber. I think, if I recall, it was only like $4.99. So, for price. the it's a value price for 7% beer. Value added. Exactly. The date's on the bottle, and it tastes good. B+. Plus. I, I, I like it. Um, 
cool bottle named after a rogue. You know, it's a beer. Drink it. And, it's, it's good. And they match the IBUs to the name of the beer. I, that that could almost swing it to an A minus. Exactly. So, until the next time, guys. Remember, think globally, drink, drink locally. locally. This is kind of semi-local. Pottstown's not that far. Yeah, it's within a day's drive. Exactly. You know, support the craft beer movement. Help guys like Sly Fox put some more good stuff out. I think I got another couple more Sly Fox beers we'll have to do. I got their i and which is their quad and another one. What about Conniving Fox? I don't know about that one. No, no, I don't really know about the Sly Fox. But anyways, guys, keep drinking. Let us know if you want us to do a certain beer. We'll try to find it. Thanks a million for watching. Subscribe and comment. Comment, man, man. Comment, man. Commenting. We appreciate you. Until the next time, that's a big...